All right, everyone, we are back. We're going to play some Cyclo Chambers. I think I'm just going to do one run today on Cyclo Chambers. That's all I uh, can stomach. Hopefully it's a good run. We're going to do Deadwalker again, which is by far my least favorite character so far. Um, he's kind of difficult to use. That's probably why I don't like him so much. Um, let's run him on the Dark Chamber just to get a little bit more familiar with him. The uh, Grassy Chamber is really, really difficult already. And with a character that I don't like, I'm not looking to torture myself that much today. Yeah, I still don't know what those skulls are all about. They come out periodically. I don't think it's from every dead body, but... Um, Definitely some dead bodies are spawning those things. Uh, one extra weapon would be awesome. The tacky adhesive, I'd be interested to see what that's all about. Do my swing stay on the ground? Let's try it out. They do! Okay, this makes the character much more bearable in my opinion. Let's see. Yeah, this is awesome. Way better than just relying on his normal attack, to be honest. Uh, compensation... No, I don't need compensation. Um, I'm going to reroll. Let's do God's Workout and Pirate's Treasure. Looking good. Let's get this treasure here. All right, let's get that gold coin. Maybe it's just a stage that's so super easy that this particular character doesn't seem so bad anymore. Uh, tenth projectile will fire a slowing bullet or spicy pie. I haven't used these mines yet, so let's give them a try. Why not? Alright, there's one of them. So it explodes automatically. Will it explode if a if an enemy gets close to it? I can't control it at all, so it's really hard to test. Let's see. I don't think it's a proximity mine. I guess it would describe it specifically if it was. Uh, extra pair of hands is good. Every three seconds, shoot a homing rocket. Every three seconds, do a non-homing. Let's do the homing one. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is my glue thing screwing it up? Because he should be chasing enemies, but he's just freezing in place, so... It's not the end of the world, I think it's still effective, but I don't think it's as effective as it's originally supposed to be. So that kind of sucks, but that's okay. Ooh. Ooh. He's hopping. <laughs> All right. Uh, crosshair would be cool. Yeah, I'll do that, I'll reroll. Um, Pills fever. Uh, no more pills. Give me more pills. Let's get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dodge out of that. Okay. Ooh. Sweet. What else we got here? Space Hog. He's going to give us... This won't do anything for us. Orb of Water might be cool. Grants homing projectiles. Well, I don't really have projectiles that do anything. I'm almost... You know what? I'm thinking about taking this just to see if it actually does do anything. 
but the interaction with my tacky glue plus my short range things happening, uh, I don't think it'll do anything, but let's see if there's some weird quirky interaction that happens. Yeah, nothing's happening. <laughs> so waste of a perk, but what can you do? I wonder if there's anything that will help me keep my slash marks on the ground for a longer period of time. Range might make sense. Maybe not range. I don't know. Maybe more tacky glue. That would make the most sense. Uh, Vision of Hope sounds good. I am at full HP right now. Ho ho ho. We're going Beyblade mode. Does anyone remember those? I actually didn't even like Beyblade, so I don't know why I'm saying that. It's more like a spinner. Ooh. Okay, so let's do... Hmm. I'm not going to spend too much on companions. I'll do the rifle trooper but yeah I, I find that I get too excited by the companions and I spend all my money on them and they end up disappointing a little bit so just gonna keep it to one for now it's good to have a friend around right all right let's get that Get the money? No. Okay, so another reroll. More HP. I don't think I needed that. Give me something good, Santa. So this actually has a negative to it. It makes them travel through enemies. Uh, yeah, that's not going to do any good for us. So, yeah. Might as well avoid the damage. Uh, the damage penalty, if I don't need to take that item. Ooh. Whoop! I was like hugging that bullet for a while. <laughs> Glad I didn't get hit. I really don't want to lose my um, extra weapon perk right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoop, crap! That really hurt. 13 damage? Damn. Alright, get out of here. I'll take that heal now, if it's here. Um, okay, Octopoda sounds interesting. So I'm going to have a big circle of slashes every 3 seconds, right? Well, it's not that big. I thought the range on it would be better, but what can you do? Still cool. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Not good. Oops. Didn't need to take that damage. Um, binoculars would be good. Scroll of War would be good. I need some healing, dude. Ooh, we could use this. Two weapons when your HP drops below 15%. I guess I am at that stage right now. More luck. Why not? Uh, how many rerolls for? I would like to have something that heals me. Or I can just take more damage. Alright, we got tons and tons of weapons. We do... That was really close. Let's make sure we're dodging the bullets. Ooh, these skulls are tripping me up, man. Oh, there's a heart. Give me that heart. Ooh, what? two health. Come on, you can do better than that. All right, let's get the coins, get the coins. Okay, what else we got? Give me some healing. Shattered Window is a new one for us. Devils of Damage. Uh, let's try Shattered Window.
There we go. We got some projectiles now. Uh, let me get out of here. Oh, there's a heart. Plus five. That's cool. I wonder why the black hearts are plus five. I would expect them to be like a larger red heart or a lighter color. The dark color hearts make me think it's like poisonous for some reason. Has like a poisonous pattern to it. All right, so flaming pie. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. Coffee break could be cool. What's this? Okay, I'm going to take the coffee break. see I am trapped within a world of my own projectiles here Whoa. excellent what do you got uh, I could take the HP I think um, what round is it? I wish I knew. Let's take the ox horn. One more reroll. Uh, ox horn again. Just go for straight damage on this guy. Oh. I keep thinking my skulls are enemies and they travel real fast and they go right through me. So it's really giving me a little bit of a heart attack right now. Oh, again, I thought my skulls were enemies and I dashed right into them. Where are you? There you are. I want this thing first. Dash over here. Whoa, he died in like two hits. So I think they, the build is going good so far, right? Uh, spontaneous combustion. Burst into flames when destroyed. Yo, yo. How would that work with this character? Probably wouldn't do anything, right? I could double up on Vision of Hope. Is above. Oh, so getting more of them reduces the requirement for it to activate. Gotcha. I will I will take that. And it heals you. Is that That should be in the description or something because that's super super attractive. If it's going to heal you, if you have a full heal with one of those pickups, it's kind of OP. So I'll probably be taking those more often, to be honest. Especially if I'm dying. Whoa, whoa. More critical hit power, sure, HP, don't really need it, but I'll take it. Uh, breakfast, don't need. Smell of hope, fire rate when you're at HP. Touch of hope is double damage. Um, vision of hope, 55% if I get more of it. I'm going to do touch of hope. So I should be slapping real hard now. Yeah, things are dying real quick, so that's a good thing. And these skulls. Get out of here. Very cool. Very cool. Give me something good. Uh, none of these are good. Again, none of these are good. I'll get the dog tags. I have no money. What happened to my money? The hell? That was weird. I have never had that small amount of money. Only 40 coins. Did I do something wrong? Whatever. Maybe I bought something by accident by clicking through too quick or something like that. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, so... 
so. All right, Santa's here. I'll take that, sure. It's free after all. Okay, dodge out. Yeah, the orb of water is also staying in place after a very short range. I guess everything for this character is going to stay in place at a short range because of our tacky glue plus our naturally short range. Whatever. Okay. Alright. Let me have it. Give me that too. Another reroll, and we got some more money. Uh, heavyweight sounds very nice because we don't really need range. Projectile speed doesn't really matter either. And it's plus damage and size of projectiles are huge. Alright, we're on the boss now too. Yeah, they're not going to touch us. <laughs> In a way, the projectile size did increase my range. Because the slashes are so huge now. This is ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> and here I was saying that I hate this character. Um, where are you at? I just want to smack him up. Yeah, you're done. Easy peasy. That was awesome. Necromancy. 20% chance to turn your enemies into skulls. Okay, so that's what's that's what his hidden passive was. It'd be nice if they described it, but now we know. Uh, doubles the damage you deal until 20% of the scene passes. Okay. Sweet. I think that's it. Oops, I hit restart. All right, let's go back to the menu here. <laughs> 